Hi, welcome to this fifth video in this series on using IBM Spectrum Protect for ERP and IBM Spectrum Copy Data Management to protect and more rapidly restore and recover SAP HANA. In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the Copy Data Management snapshot to rapidly restore the SAP HANA database and then we can use the Spectrum Protect for ERP redo logs to recover the SAP HANA database to its most recent state. Do check out the tech talk. This will talk about this in depth. And with that, we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to check is which backups are available. So from the SAP HANA cockpit, look at all the backups that are out there by clicking on our database. In this case, that's the PLE HANA database. And we want to go and look at the database backups that are available. So click on database backups. Now you'll notice that all of the CDM snapshots show up as data snapshots versus the Spectrum Protect for ERP, they're going to show up either as incremental or as complete data backups. Their destination type is backend, which means Spectrum Protect for ERP. If you click on the filter and then choose backup type and then add in log backups and catalog backups, click OK. This will also show you the log backups from Spectrum Protect for ERP that can be utilized to apply on top of the snapshot that we're going to restore from copy data management. So this is the most recent time period you can recover this SAP HANA database back to. Okay, the first thing we have to do to simulate this um, disaster recovery is to stop the databases. So we'll go into the database management of the system database here at the bottom. Click on database management. You're going to see all of the tenant databases that belong to this system database. Click stop and we need to go through and stop all of those tenant databases first of all. Now that we've stopped all the tenant databases, we need to stop the system database. So if you click on the system database, That'll take you to this overview screen and you can click on stop system, go and accept the task, and now we'll wait for the database to shut down. Okay, it looks like everything is shut down. We can verify that there are no processes running out there. The most strategic way to recover the SAP HANA database is to use CDM to restore the snapshot of the database back to the SAP HANA file system and then use Spectrum Protect for ERP to restore the latest redo logs and recover the SAP HANA database. So with that, let's switch over to CDM. Click on Jobs, and we're going to create a restore job. CDM supports two types of restore jobs, Instant Disk Restore and Instant Database Restore. Instant Database Restore restores an immediately usable database, and that means the database will be recovered as part of the restore operation. And the database is going to contain the data as of the time when the snapshot was created. So this option works well if you're only using CDM, or if your CDM snapshot is more recent than your Spectrum Protect for ERP backups. However, if you use this option, you do not have the ability to apply any other logs. We want to use the Instant Disk Restore operation, and that will restore a snapshot without running a recovery operation. And then the restored volumes can be used to run a HANA database recovery using Spectrum Protect for ERP that will restore and apply the redo logs in order to recover the database to a specific point in time. So go ahead and enter a name for the job, and then click Instant Disk Restore. For the source database, we'll click on Source, and then click on Bublagen, PLE, and choose the PLE database. For the copy, click on Copy. Choose which site you want to restore the copy from. In our case, we just have one site. And then for the destination, 
In order to restore a snapshot into a production environment, that source and target must be identical. So we'll choose Bubligan and then PLE. Go underneath the advanced options and for the revert option, this has to be set to enabled so that CDM will immediately restore the backup to the source volume by performing a reverse flash copy operation, which is basically considered a production restore. If you did not select revert, you would not get the data actually being copied over. And that may be okay if all you wanted to do was confirm that the copied volumes were intact, but it's not what we want for a production restore. So go ahead and click OK, and then click Create Job. And now we're ready to kick off the restore. So make sure the restore job is selected, and then click Start. Click Yes, you want to start the job. And you'll see the job starting in the bottom left-hand corner. You click on that. On the left-hand side, you'll see a nice overview of what's happening. Things like CDM is loading inventory and storage data. It's verifying the SAP database is shut down. It's dismounting the production disks, unmapping LUNs, reverting volumes. Then it's restoring volumes, mapping back the LUNs, mounting the production data after the revert, and so forth. Once this restore of the flash copy is complete. We'll then need to go back into the SAP HANA cockpit in order to restore the redo logs from Spectrum Protect for ERP and recover the database. From the HANA cockpit, we'll go ahead and click on Recover Database. For the recovery target, we're going to choose to recover to the most recent state. And this is the state that I showed you in the beginning of the video which is the most recent redo logs available. You could choose to recover to another point in time, and that would be between the time that the snapshot was taken and the time of the last Spectrum Protect for ERP log backup. Click step two. Here we need to specify the location of the latest backup, and this is gonna be the back int location only. Click step three. If you look at on the operating system that HANA is sitting on, you'll see here the database files that CDM brought back to this file system and represents the HANA DB content from that specific timestamp. CDM restored the snapshot but did not recover the database because we had chosen the CDM instant disk restore type. Because this was the fastest way to restore the database, now we want to use this snapshot to do the recovery. So by choosing this data snapshot, SAP HANA will only restore the redo logs from the Spectrum Protect for ERP backups that you see listed here. If we had chosen the Spectrum Protect for ERP complete backup, SAP HANA would also have restored the database from the Spectrum Protect for ERP site and this would have been a lot slower. We are choosing the already restored CDM snapshot and allowing HANA to restore the needed redo logs from Spectrum Protect for ERP to recover HANA to the most recent state as we requested on the previous screen. We'll choose to have a Delta backup, yes, and click step five. We'll specify the alternate backup location and we'll just leave that blank. Click step six. We want to check availability of backups, so click yes on back end and yes on file system. And click step seven. Initialize log areas, no. And at this point, we're ready to click review. Notice you're going to get this warning. Recovering system database from a DB snapshot invalidates the tenant backups. After you recover the system database, you need to recover the tenant database. So we will individually recover these tenant databases. So go ahead and click Start Recovery. Okay, the restore of the system database is kicked off. It's out there starting the name service and it's reading the backup catalog. You'll also see it doing a system restart. And now that that's complete, you'll see the warning that we also have to restore the tenant databases. 
So go back into the resource directory and we're going to choose database management. And here you'll see the system database has been restored, recovered, and is currently running. But the two tenant databases are stopped. So click on the dots next to the PLE tenant database and then click recover. We're going to choose the same recovery target. Click step two. We'll take the default. Click step three. So SAP HANA is going out and pulling up the available Spectrum Protect for ERP and the CDM snapshots. As you see here for this tenant database, we also have the ability to restore from either Spectrum Protect for ERP or from the CDM snapshot. We want to use a CDM snapshot. It's going to be faster. We'll go ahead and take the rest of the defaults here. You can go ahead and review this and then click on Start Recovery. Okay, you'll see we're loading the services and then we'll go through the log recovery for both the XSE engine and the index server. Next, we'll do a system restart and now you can see that the recovery has completed successfully. So we'll go back into the recover database, into the system overview, and we'll click on database management. And now you can see that one of the tenant databases is up and running. So we just need to recover the second tenant database. So click on the dots and then click recover. We'll go ahead and take the defaults again. The major difference you'll notice here, this tenant database was not backed up by Spectrum Protect for ERP. So our only recovery points are from the copy data management snapshots. So we'll go ahead and choose the most recent CDM snapshot and click on step four. We'll take the defaults for the rest of these screens and we'll go ahead and start the recovery. We'll initialize and then it'll wait for the services. Next, we'll do the log recovery. And the third step will be the system restart. So now that that recovery is complete, we're going to go back into the recovery databases, system overview, and DB management. And you'll be able to see that all three of the SAP HANA instances are up and running. So in summary, this video showed you how to utilize IBM Spectrum Protect for ERP and IBM Spectrum Copy Data Management to rapidly restore and recover an SAP HANA database. The power of using these two together is that we can recover a database to a specific point in time. And this restore option occurred in two steps. First, the snapshot was rapidly restored by using CDM. And then secondly, the redo logs were restored from the IBM Spectrum Protect for ERP by using the SAP HANA cockpit. Be sure to read the tech talk, and if you haven't already, check out the other videos. Thank you.